So today, we'll use the grid and list group component to work on the pricing. First, let's create a new component. So open your code editor, open components, and here, create a new file, pricing.js. We'll create a functional component. So add export default function and a component name. App pricing. In return, let's just add a div tag with the text pricing. Now let's import this component under app.js. So on top, import app pricing. Then at the bottom, add app pricing element. Check the preview and you can see pricing. It means our component is working. Now let's add this title and a subtitle. Also we will be using a grid layout. So open React Bootstrap, click components, layout and grid. We will use fluid container. So copy the import of container, row, and call. You can add them in pricing.js. Copy the container element. You can remove this div tag and instead add a section. Add ID pricing and a class block and pricing block. Inside this section, you can paste the container element. For the title and subtitle, just after this container, add a div tag. You can also add a class title holder for the title let's use the s2 tag the title is pricing and plans for the subtitle add another div tag with a class subtitle Let's copy the subtitle from the website. You can then paste it over here. Check the preview. And now we can see title and a subtitle. Now let's add all of this content including the button. So in this call, in the small device, let's add a grid value of 4. Then for this plan and pricing, I will add them in a div. So add a div tag with a class heading. For the plans, I will add them in the S3 tag. For the pricing, I will add span tag with a class price. And I will show my price over here. For all this list item, I will use list group component. But first, I will add them in a div with the class content. For the list group component, go back to React Bootstrap, click components, and click list group. First, we need to copy the import of list group and add them at the very top then copy this list group element and you can add them inside this div tag finally we need a button order now so again 
I will add another div tag. I will also add a class BT and holder. Then for the button, I will use the A tag and the text is order now. Let's add the SREF and a class BTN and BTN primary. These are the static content, but I want to use a dynamic one. So on top, I will paste my pricing data. It has got properties like ID, plan, price, features, and link. To use this data, we can use map function. So at the bottom, after this row element, we can use pricing data dot map. We can then access pricing. Then inside this return, let's add this call element. Now in call element, we can add the key attribute and we can use pricing.id to access the plan we can use pricing dot plan likewise to access the price we can use pricing dot price we'll work on this list group a bit later for now let's access the link using pricing dot link Check the preview and we can see plan, pricing and button is working fine. Now let's work on this list item. We need to get list item from this features array. So again, we need to use a map function. So just after this list group element, you can add pricing dot features dot map we can then access feature and index in return let's add one of the list group item you can then remove the other list group items So now you can use the key attribute and add index over here. Then over here, you can just add feature. Check the site again. And this time it is working as expected. Also, if you compare it with the design, it is looking exactly the same. Great. This is the end of this session. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions. Also, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel to get more videos in the future. Thank you.